In Attack of the Clones, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi was able to successfully uncover the creation of a clone army on Kamino that was intended to serve as the Grand Army of the Republic. In addition to discovering that the clone army was ordered at the behest of Jedi Master Sifo Diaz, a former member of the Jedi High Council, Obi-Wan also uncovered that the original genetic template for the clones was bounty hunter Jango Fett. However, what Obi-Wan was not able to discover on this initial visit to Kamino, and what the Jedi would not come to realize until later in the Clone Wars, was that Sifo Diaz was murdered at the command of Darth Tyrannus, and that the Sith, including Tyrannus and his master Darth Sidious, took over and controlled the clone army project in secret and from the shadows. But the question remains, once the Sith secretly took over the clone army project, how and why did the Sith select the bounty hunter Jango Fett to serve as the genetic template for the clone army? In this video expose, I will describe how Darth Tyrannus and Darth Sidious came to recruit and utilize Jango Fett to be the original genetic template for the clone troopers that were to be cloned on Kamino and form the Grand Army of the Republic. Early in Count Dooku's apprenticeship under Darth Sidious, soon after his fall to the dark side following the death of his former apprentice Qui-Gon Jinn and being renamed as Darth Tyrannus to become a Dark Lord of the Sith, Sidious interrupted his new apprentice's Sith training and approached him with a matter that had become urgent for the Sith. Sidious described to Dooku how the Bando Gora cult had re-emerged within the galaxy with some newfound prominence, whereby they were dealing in the business of powerful drugs, corruption, and assassination, leading to the spread of chaos in the galaxy. This re-emergence of the Bando Gora cult allowed them to gain significant influence within the galactic underworld to the point that Sidious considered the cult to be a threat to the plans of the Sith. The Bando Gora cult was able to rise to the level of becoming a nuisance to the plans of the Sith through the actions of their new leader, Komari Vosa, a former Jedi and Padawan of Count Dooku who had also fallen to the dark side of the Force. Once considered to be a rising star within the Jedi Order under the tutelage of Dooku, Vosa's fall to the dark side started when she was barred from participating in the Jedi Trials after being deemed by the Jedi Order to be unfit to go on to become a Jedi Knight, due to her aggressive demeanor and her secret infatuation with her master Dooku. This decision ultimately ended her Jedi training. Feeling betrayed by the Jedi, Vosa became enraged and fled the Jedi Temple, where she joined a Jedi task force being deployed to end the illegal activities of the Bando Gora on the planet of Baltazar. The mission was a disaster for the task force, and Vosa was taken prisoner by the Bando Gora. As their prisoner, Vosa was subjected to torture and other cruelties by the cult, thereby driving her mad and causing her to embrace the dark side of the Force. Ultimately, Vosa was able to defeat her captors, replace them, and become the new leader of the Bando Gora. As their new leader, Komari Vosa built up and expanded the cult's influence and power within the criminal underworld, whereby Vosa came to control an army of warriors that could be deployed against her enemies. Darth Sidious came to see the rising threat of the Bando Gora cult as an intolerable nuisance that threatened their plans for the future. Therefore, Sidious commanded his new apprentice to dismantle the cult by killing his former Padawan Vosa. Although reluctant at first, Dooku agreed to comply with his master's order. However, importantly for the purposes of this video, Sidious also instructed his new apprentice to locate and secure a suitable genotype that could be used to serve as the genetic template for the clone army that was to be cloned on Kamino. As Sidious had brought Dooku up to speed on the Sith's plan to create a clone army for the Jedi and Republic to be used by them in a future conflict. Having been tasked by his master Sidious to eliminate the Dark Jedi Vosa in an effort to disrupt the Bando Gora, and to search for an ideal individual who would serve as the genetic template for the clone army, Dooku formulated a plan that could successfully accomplish both objectives at the same time. He decided to place a bounty of 5 million Republic credits on Komari Vosa, a bounty that represented an extravagant sum, as this would ensure that the galaxy's best and most fearsome bounty hunters competed against each other to either kill or capture Vosa. This plan would ensure that Vosa was eliminated and that the Sith acquired a genetic template for the Grand Army of the Republic's clone troopers who would be capable of slaying a Jedi. At the suggestion of Darth Sidious, Dooku hired several of the galaxy's most lethal mercenaries. He extended a special invitation to Jango Fett, 
a former Mandalorian turned bounty hunter, to compete for the bounty of Vosa, an invitation that Jango ultimately accepted. With the galaxy's best mercenaries exclusively competing for the capture of Vosa and the chance to claim the exuberant 5 million credit reward, Dooku had successfully arranged a contest that would determine the ideal candidate to serve as the genetic template for the clone army on Kamino. Ultimately, after Jango was successful in disrupting the operations of Vosa, wherein he was able to eliminate a number of her important contacts, as well as escape capture by Vosa's followers, where Jango underwent torture aimed at having him give up the identity of his employer, that is Dooku, Jango and Komari Vosa confronted each other in Vosa's throne room on Colma, a moon orbiting the planet of Bogdan. Having to contend with the Dark Jedi's skills with the lightsaber and abilities with the Force, Jango was forced to rely on the use of his jetpack and his armor's advanced weaponry in order to survive and have a chance against Vosa, who was a trained Jedi. The duel between Jango and Vosa was long and brutal, however, Jango was able to emerge victorious. When Jango was about to kill the cult leader, Vosa asked Jango if he would kill her or leave her alive, at which point, having looked upon the subdued and dying woman, Jango lowered his weapons and chose to spare her life, as the 5 million credit reward was the same whether Vosa was captured alive or dead. However, Vosa felt the presence of her old master Dooku through the Force, at which point Dooku then took hold of Vosa's throat telekinetically using the Force and choked his former Padawan until her death. Although Jango was surprised to learn that Dooku had been present to observe the duel between himself and Vosa, Dooku emerged and congratulated Jango for winning the contest. Dooku had been most impressed with Jango's skills in his fight against Vosa, as although Dooku had been aware of rumors that boasted of Jango's skills against the Jedi, and Dooku had known that Jango had killed a number of Jedi previously during the Battle of Galadron, Dooku considered his former apprentice Vosa to be a much more difficult and challenging test for the bounty hunter. In Jango Fett, Dooku now had his genetic template that would create clones who would be effective once Order 66 was issued. Following the death of Vosa, in addition to the 5 million credit reward money, Dooku offered a significant amount of additional credits if Jango agreed to be cloned on the planet of Kamino. Dooku described the purpose of the cloning project to Jango as the creation of a clone army that would be programmed to provide absolute loyalty and modified with accelerated growth. Although Jango contemplated the offer for a brief moment, he ultimately agreed to Dooku's offer. However, in agreeing to be cloned on Kamino, Jango stipulated the condition that the first clone, one without any modifications or programming, had to be given to him. Dooku agreed to the condition and the bounty hunter and Sith Lord shook hands in agreement, thereby initiating the creation of the clone army that would serve as the Grand Army of the Republic. So there we have it, how the Sith came to recruit and utilize Jango Fett to be the original genetic template for the clone troopers that were to be cloned on Kamino and form the Grand Army of the Republic. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like, or leaving a comment. If not for me, for Asajj Ventress clones.